Hey guys, welcome back to When We Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley for anyone who's new, and this is what we eat in a week. Oh, what's for tea? Oh, <laughs> I forgot what we had. Peking beef and Mexican rice. <laughs> this is um, risotto. Steve's got green beans in the side of his, and it's got um, bacon and chorizo in. Some scones, kids want some scones with uh, cream and jam in. You've got to have a quick dinner in there somewhere. Book a pie. That's Steve's by the way. Chips and beans. So we have honeyed pork steaks, new potatoes and rabbit food essentially. <laughs> ah. This is the new recipe I made. This is chicken chorizo casserole and crushed new potatoes roasted. This will be on at the end. Homemade fish and chips. And mushy peas. For those that requested them last time. <laughs> More rabbit food. New potatoes, pork and apple. So this is the chicken casserole that I made. I didn't show Sundays because really you've all seen me do salad. <laughs> How many ways can you do salad? So I recorded this one for as a new recipe. I did put it on the members as to whether they wanted savoury or sweet. So. I just diced up some skinless, boneless chicken thighs. The other, the hob's not on at this point. I'm just coating them in some flour. This will help to thicken. Now I'm going to add some garlic oil. And I'll start to cook it. just want to cook the chicken thighs the way you can of course use chicken breast but I prefer thighs that's half a large onion and some chopped up chorizo you can see I've got the baby potatoes on the back boiling away well not boiling yet but you get the idea <laughs> So now, mushrooms, thinly sliced carrots. This took an hour and a half on the hob to cook fully. Some thyme. I'll put the entire recipe underneath. That's why I'm not telling you how much I put in. This was for four people. Worcester sauce. And you know I'm going to tell you. When the liquid goes in, that's some chicken stock bit left at the bottom so I'll just get that off I do later in the cooking add a bit more water to this and now I'm going to make sure I go around the bottom of that pan because that is essentially that some of the flour is flavoring from the meat bits of meat that have stuck to the bottom you want to get all that up it's all going to thicken up this um, liquid so it's been cooking for a little bit that is a teaspoon of marmite no you don't have to add it I cannot stand marmite it is a teaspoon I'm literally clearing out that pot it doesn't taste like marmite honestly just give it a try So 
So now the potatoes are soft. All I'm doing is pressing gently with a potato masher. Couldn't decide where to go next. <laughs> and then some oil on there. And some salt. And into the oven to crisp up. It won't take long because, let's take my cooker. <laughs> won't take long because they're already cooked through. So I do add a bit more water to this and I add a couple of tablespoons of chicken granules see I'm just scraping the bottom of that pan there you go it's about the level you want so you've got plenty of gravy with it That banging you can hear is my children waking up. It's early this morning. My kids are in the bedroom next door and they're flinging their arms and legs about while they're waking up. So at this point, I'm just gonna give it a try. that's it dished up it was as easy as that you want to add more vegetables that's absolutely fine we uh, had this with them crushed potatoes and some um, crispy bread to dip in that gravy it's absolutely lovely such a simple casserole as well just leave it on the hob stir it now and again so thank you so much guys for watching if you like the recipe please comment down below what you would add to it if you would add anything or if you even if you're going to give it a go so thanks so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe share if you can and i'll see you in the next one bye